a lot of people think that when you use the merge columns button in power query to combine two or more columns together your original columns are going to disappear from your query this is not true right so there is a way you can merge two columns together in power query without eliminating your source columns at the same time without having to go through some funny steps so how can we use power query to merge these two columns together to give us first name and last name either using excel power query or power query from power bi so i'm gonna do this on excel's power query so basically i want to be able to merge these two columns together to give me first name and last name and the objective is to keep the original columns right that is i want to keep this first name and last name i just want an extra column that has maybe a full name probably okay so to do that i'm gonna have to come to my data tab then i will select this from table slash range so now i'm inside the query editor a lot of people think that the only way you can merge these two columns and keep the original ones is to use some other means right that is because to merge these two columns you're gonna have to select the two columns so when you select the two columns you come to transform tab then you see this option for merge columns so if i click merge columns it's gonna ask me what is my separator so i want my separator to be a space and i want the name to be full name so the new column should be called full name but when i click ok what happens is my original columns have disappeared right so what is the proper method for me to use to do this so i'm gonna track back one step and i will just show you something okay so if i want to make these two columns and I want to keep my original column names. I want to keep my original column data. I'm not going to use the merge columns that I have from the transform tab. I'm not going to use this merge column. I'm going to have to come to my add columns tab and I will see another merge column here in add columns, right? So if I use this merge column instead, select space as my separator and I call this full name. So when I hit OK, I still have my original column plus the full name column. So what exactly is making these two merge columns do two different things? Why is it that the merge columns I have in my transform tab is doing something completely different from the merge column I have in my merge columns tab? Okay, so let's investigate that. So I'll come back and... Uh, track back one step again right so i'm gonna do the first one all over again come to transform tab select the two columns and when i place my cursor on this merge columns what it tells me is, is it concatenates the currently selected columns into one column okay concatenates the currently selected columns into one column okay so let's go look at what we have at the add column tab okay so click on add column tab check what we have what do i have for match columns create a new column based on the concatenation of the currently selected column so that is two different things so this creates a new column based on the concatenation of the currently selected columns okay so let's go a step further and see what is really happening with the codes okay so if i come back to transform tab and i use this merge columns takes space of my separator call it full name hit ok then i go to view and an enable formula bar so let me see what code do i have in here so this is table.combined columns table.combined columns right okay so track back one step close this track back one step then select my two columns go to add column merge columns using the other method now and uh, space full name 
when I hit OK. So what code do I have in here? So this now has table dot add column plus a table dot combine. So they run two different codes, right? So if you are going to have to merge two columns together and you need to keep your source columns, make sure you hit the add column tab and select your columns before you pick the merge columns button.